we're going to write a program that turns uh, numbers uh, into their written version, right? So it turns the number one into the word one, or O N E, right? Okay. First, let's start with a number. We see that this is the program right here, right? And uh, I'm going to declare a variable x to be integer. And uh, what number do we want to use? Um, 10. 10. Yeah, that's the program right there, you see? And then we're going to have the program print out something. What should it print out? 10. Okay. Okay. So now we can run this program. When we run this program, down here it shows you, see? It says 10. <laughs> print it out 10. Okay, what happens if we change this x now to 8? Yeah. Yeah, run it. So I'm going to change x to 8. What's it going to print out if I run it? Um, the number 8. No, it prints out 10. Because uh, that's what the program says. The program says x is 8, print out 10. What I want is actually an if statement. I want to say if x equals 8. Then I want to print out the word eight. Mm. Right. Yes. And let's run this. If I run this, what happens now? It's eight, ten, eight and ten. It printed out ten. Eight. And ten, yes. But we wanted to only print ten, eight. So how can we get it to just print eight? By erasing ten. Yeah. That's one way. Very good. Uh, what if we now I go back here and I change this x to 7? What's going to happen? You printed out 7. You think so? Mm -hmm. If I run it, no. it doesn't do anything. You print, you, oh, oh, you change the x. Yeah, because it says if x is 8, then print 8. But it doesn't say to do anything if x is 7. So we have to add something about that. Yeah. yeah. So we should say if x is 8, then print out 8. Else, else, uh, else, sorry, else if x is 7, then we want to print out A 7 wins. 7. And let's run that. Seven. Now, no, eight uh, and ten. What if we change the x? So, if we change this x from the number seven to the number eight, what is it going to print out now? Do we run it? Eight. And what if we change it to the number three? It's going to print out. No, it's not going to print out three. No. Yes. Okay. Have you changed the x? Yeah. So. What do we need to do to make a print out three? Hmm. Put that comma in that thing there. <laughs> yeah. So we need to add else if x equals three. Three. And do you see the pattern? X is three goes here. Says, is X eight? No. Else is else if X seven? No. Else if X is three? Yes. Then I'm gonna print three. So it works now for eight, seven, and three. What if I wanted it to work for five also? What do I have to do then? Can put those. Add another. No. Else and if. Else and if. Very good. Else if x equals five. Five. Then what do we want to print out? Five. Five. Very good. Let's try that. Five. Now, and how old are you? Six. Six. We've got to get six in there. Six. And uh, we just cut and paste all this. If, 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 if. 
Lzib, 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 six, six, and now we can run it, and it prints out six. And that is a computer program. Yeah. Say goodbye. Goodbye.